Hello everyone. So you may remember yesterday that I covered a photo shared of a recent failed Russian attack near a settlement called Tonenka. This was just to the west of Tonenka, which is Russian controlled. So the attack from Tonenka to further consolidate Russian positions to the west of the settlement. This attack consisted of 36 tanks and 12 BMPs. Ukraine reported 12 tanks and 8 BMPs destroyed. This photo shows a number of them. Well, we now have a video from the area, so let's have a peek. So this short video clip shows one of the Russian columns as it gets into a bit of a pickle, and it looks a bit chaotic. The video highlights seven vehicles getting destroyed in total. However, they miss at least one out. At the start of the video, you can see one stuck in the road that's stationary, either broken down or most likely disabled by a mine, with the other tanks manoeuvring around it. So the actual number on the video is at least 8, but there could be a couple more. In the photo we saw yesterday, we had 14 vehicles confirmed as destroyed. These included some different ones as seen on this video. So we are getting more of a picture of the losses here. The ones in this clip look to be destroyed by a mixture of missiles, artillery, mines and drones. So, all in all, this attack was a complete shambles. And this is the safe for YouTube video. There's another video being shared on Twitter and Telegram, also from this same failed attack, that shows some of the troop losses and that sort of thing too. So, needless to say, this attack was a complete disaster. Now, before I have a look at these losses in more details, I'm going to play a second short video. This one is from the same area showing a Ukrainian team using a javelin missile to destroy a moving Russian tank. It's a great shot on the moving target. You can see when the person recording zooms in, where the tank is moving along at speed before the javelin picks it off. So we had javelins deployed here as well. Now, let's go through some screenshots and see if we can realise what destroyed which vehicle. First, this tank here highlighted is stationary. You can see another tank manoeuvring around it. So this one has been disabled, whether by Ukraine or whether it just broke down or got stuck in the mud, I can't tell. But I think it can be added to the tally. Here in the centre, we have an old wreck. Not sure if Russian or Ukrainian. I think this one might be a Ukrainian one. Finally, clock these two vehicles here. Both of them are stationary, and the losses don't look old. These two could be part of the same convoy, but have already been disabled before the recording started of this video. And here, the first part of the destruction. So, a very accurate artillery strike hits these two disabled vehicles, while the third vehicle is passing by. This is tallied as minus one by the uploader, but it could actually be minus three if those two station vehicles were part of the same attack, and I think it likely they could be. They are Russian, facing the same direction of this assault, and they don't look to be old. This next one, we don't see what hit it, but it's burning on its front right hand side, this looks like a drone or possibly a missile impact to me. This here, the vapour trail looks characteristic of a Palm 2 mine. Now, the tank is following the tracks of the one in the lead, so it should be safe. But the Palm 2 can be deployed in a delayed manner. So, program to detonate when a certain number of vehicles have already passed over it. And I think that could be the case of what we're seeing here. I think this is Palm 2. I could be wrong, it could be a missile. But the vapour trail... Looks like what we've seen in the past of Palm 2 mines hitting Russian vehicles. We get a Brucey bonus here of a nice turret toss too. Not the most impressive turret toss we've ever seen, but still a solid 7 out of 10 here. It gains, it gains bonus points for being on fire as it flies. The lead tank also gets bonked here. Now, I don't see a drone in the video, but the impact looks like a drone, but it could be an RPG or a missile, it's hard to tell. This screenshot is a moment before vehicle 5 gets hit. You can see the missile highlighted on its way to ruin this tank's day. Here, a tank lurking in the bushes that was hit shortly after firing its gun. You can see the white smoke coming from the tank's barrel. I can't tell what exactly hit this one, but regardless, it's finished. And its supporting BMP also gets destroyed as well. And that's where the video ends, so all in all, quite a bad day for Russia here. I remember, this is just one video, there's multiple more being shared online, showing multiple more losses. 
so the losses here were huge. So with these new videos and the like, we can see that there were two main pushes west from Tonang, Korea. One, following a road heading northwest, which sort of loops around. The other one was to the south, which headed west, with a few vehicles geolocated as also cutting north as well. So rather than intending to capture any Ukrainian towns or villages as such, this looks like it was a massive, concentrated effort by Russia to clear Ukrainian positions from in and around these fields, and then gain strong positions of their own close to the settlement of Yumanska, you can see. Yumanska is Ukrainian controlled. There's a river to the south of it, which you can see, which makes it a bit of a trickier settlement for Russia to crack. So it seems to me that Ukraine has selected this area as its new line of defence. Here it is on deep states. This all taking place within the red box, so right on the front lines. I wonder if Russia's eventual short term plan here is to push east, clearing these positions and eventually capturing Yasnobrobivka, which may be a good position for Russia to attack Umansk from. Whatever the purpose here, clearly it went wrong. Massive, massive losses of both vehicles and troops, as well as blunting Russia's attack here and causing large losses to the vehicles. This is also important to Ukraine for another reason. Recently, in and around Avdiivka, where this is, Ukraine has suffered a number of setbacks. Avdiivka was captured, and then after that, a number of other smaller towns and settlements, such as Sevena, Stepova, places like that, were also captured fairly quickly by Russia. So momentum is on Russia's side here, and of course, morale must be quite low for Ukraine. So it must do a world of good here to blunt what's been reported as being the biggest armoured attack by Russia since the first year of the war. 36 tanks and 12 BMPs reported as taking part in it, 48 vehicles in total. That's a massive amount of armour. So to be able to stop this attack, not just able to stop the attack, but also destroy a large chunk of it, I believe the number given was 12 tanks and 8 BMPs, which Ukraine claimed to have destroyed. That's going to do a lot of good for morale. It shows that Ukraine can stop this Avdivka offensive. And this was clearly Russia's big gambit to clear these areas. So much armour sent in to clear these fields here and gain a stronger foothold and it failed. So hopefully this means now that the front lines in Avdivka have stabilised. Ukraine has dug in, got some solid defensive positions, got a resupply of missiles and ammunition and that sort of thing. And are now able to withstand any Russian attacks hitting this area. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now before I finish, a quick mention about the ongoing fundraiser with Rebirth Energy, which is to buy a buggy for Ukraine's armed forces. The donation link is in the description. Big thanks to everybody who's helped out so far. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks so much and take care everybody.